much got everything on the top side welded and fabbed up and ready to go. Now it's time to flip it, so we'll see how this goes. <laughs> well, we got the car flipped over. Um, <laughs> it was quite the process, but we managed to do it. I forgot to turn on the camera, so you guys are going to miss out on that. Sorry. Try, try to remember to turn the camera on from now on. So we're having an ice storm. Sitting here welding. This hits the top of this shop. Good thing I didn't park my car there. Oh well, back to work. Well, today I gotta go pick up the chassis, get it put on the trailer, so that way sometime this week I can take it over and get it powder coated. Um, kind of introduce you guys to the tow pig. She's a, uh, she's a classic. Check it out. Well, here's the old tow pig. She's an '89 E350 ambulance. Um, partially converted into a semi RV it was a nasty green color if you can see that in the door jams there it was a nasty green color I went ahead and sanded her down and gave her the old college try on painting something this big but she didn't turn out too bad I mean it's a race car hauler it's not gonna win races but it'll definitely get me there all right so we got the battery charger hooked up for good measure Come on, Betsy, come on. So you guys missed the uh, tow pig being started up. Uh, battery kind of went dead on the GoPro, so running a little late. Finally got the ambulance started up, got the trailer hooked up, got it pulled out from the side of the garage without getting stuck. So now we're going to go fuel up, go to Jason's shop, pick up the chassis, get it loaded on the trailer, bring it back here so that way I can take it to uh, get powder coated one night this week and we'll go from there. Shut it off as soon as I got here. There's no point. rolled up on the side, you know, but yeah. I think we're fine. Let you get up in there. You gonna hop up here too? Yeah. You can sit down, put your feet down in there if you want, Zach. Feet down in the car, put your feet down on the. Yeah, what happens if it goes though? <laughs> <laughs> If that fucker goes, I'm we're going for a ride, that's for sure. Oh yeah. 
Good thing I turned the camera on. Nobody call OSHA. Like a fucking in a six flag. <laughs> I was worried about it fitting on the boards. Hope y'all enjoyed that. It's probably a good thing OSHA wasn't around to give us any fines or nothing. Things we do so we can race. Might as well make it interesting, right? Yep. As you can see, I just got the car dropped off to get powder coated. Big thanks to Darren at Mackinac Valley Powder Coat for getting me in on a timely manner. Um, if you ever need anything powder coated, you know, hit them up. See what they can do for you. I'd like to end this video with uh, sending a big thank you to Jason Fager and Jason Fager family. Uh, one to Jason Fager for let, giving me the opportunity to finish this car and let me build it and whatnot using his shop, some of his time and everything like that. Um, big thanks to his family for their generosity and hospitality. I was over there for the past two months every weekend uh, working on this thing and they gave me a place to stay if I needed it. They fed me. They even found a way to include me in their Thanksgiving and Christmas because I was over there for those couple of weekends. Um, so big, big thank you to them. Um, awesome people. Uh, greatly appreciate it. Until the next video, make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. Um, maybe let us know what you'd like to see in future videos. Until then, y'all be safe.